James Pantemis. In the back line, though, you will have Kamal Miller, who brings a welcome addition, a physical presence, who's good on the ball, a homegrown player that's going to be a huge part of this season for this team. But all eyes are on Mihailovic, that number 10. There's the opening whistle from Portland, Oregon. The Timbers and the Rapids officially underway in 2024. Bombito did well to push it away. Portland pick it right back up. Back up. It's Chara and now interchange for Santi Moreno. Waits for that overlapping run back inside on the back post. It's Williams. Welcome back, Eric Williamson and Portland with the early lead in the first half. Unbelievable. Eric Williamson, rather, follows that one up. It's a perfect cutback. It's the right position for that late running midfielder. As opposed to an opportunity to set up for a set piece, but again, you can hear this stadium, this crowd. Chip into Anthony! It's a dream start for the Timbers inside of the first quarter of an hour, and it is two. Portland. Oh my. That this team needs to be able to have, and you see a throw in is about marking runners. It's a mentality. You see a quick combination play. No one following it. And then it's just a 1v1 battle to create a little bit of separation. He's got a good mark on him in Keegan Rosenberry. But Addington, he just finds that inside lane, lays out and goes high with his header and an unbelievable start for this Portland Timbers side. Play a little more on the front foot, you know. Chris Armas wants this team to be... Good through ball here, chance to get one back. And a big save from Pantemis. Still alive here for Colorado. Looking for the far side and it didn't miss by much. So much experience, but still somebody you want to see get the minutes to rebuild his confidence that we've seen when Zach Steffen's at his best. In front, big save for Ben Temis. But tonight he's been pretty good. Anthony already has one tonight. Missed on the first touch, still a chance though here. Looking for the far corner, why not? Oh my! But an offside flag, that won't count. An offside flag up. I'll Just tell you, as Rogo, that ball is played. That looks onside to me from that angle. That is really, really close. But when you look from that game camera. Mark Geiger, longtime MLS referee in charge of VAR. It's a goal. It's 3-0 Portland. It took a moment to agree that indeed it was a third. Mosqueda. Good win by Harris in the middle part of the field. And Paredes, the first player book tonight here in Portland. Half chances in and around the box, even greater than half chances, but it's been Portland Timbers who have been near perfect in those types of moments. And a second booking from our referee, Alexander Zelyaskov. Whistling is. Aspria playing through onto the backside and an own goal. A sign of how this first half is gone. Sam Vines not knowing what was behind him. Touches it for a Portland fourth before the halftime whistle. And the Sounders came to play. 4-0 was the final in that one as well. Four goals for the host, Timbers. Two of them from Anthony. HP3, Rogo here with you as we get into half number two, MLS season pass on Apple TV. Portland trying to control a little bit more of the flow of the game at home to get those early goals, and now you're going to see a timber side. See that foul there, looks like Miller just leaving his stud up. Looks like he got the ball. Moved it again, just trying to change that angle of the wall a little bit. 
Bassett up and over the wall, and it just goes over the crossbar as well. Come to fruition in a unique way, but so far, it's early going. It is just one match. Here's Ronan to deliver the corner from this near side. Onto the back post, and it looked like that went into the back of the net. It was Harris on the back side. Timbers keeper James Pantemis having a conversation with the referee. Felt like he was yeah, suffered I think a foul against Yeah, I think Bombito. it's more that from up top. It looks well in. I think it's McGraw who clears it off the line. This early on in the half, it's a long, long road to scoring more goals. But again, it's about consolation. You see, there it is. It's a goal. Or to those strengths, and that comes down to your mentality and that willingness to make plays in those types of moments. Maxu into the back of Dairon Espria. And now the Danish international, Andres Maxu, becomes... And it looks like Chris Armas getting ready to make his first changes of the night. Over the crossbar, Bassett with a great look from the edge of the six right there. Yeah, one of the things he mentioned is that he just looks like he belongs there. Just over the head of Yappi, but headed wide by Bombito. Nifty touch there from Mihailovic to spring. Travis headed wide. The movement was all there. Just awaiting the final whistle, and there it is.